Have you ever tried to replace a motor and your vendor asked if it's IEC or NEMA? Or you didn't see the usual specifications on your nameplate? This video is for you. There's nothing worse than ordering a critical motor only to find out the frame size or the shaft size doesn't fit your application. Hi, I'm Keith with eMotors Direct, and today we're talking IEC versus NEMA standards for electric motors. We'll compare IEC versus NEMA frame sizes, enclosure ratings, and confirm if you can replace an IEC motor with a NEMA motor in the same application. Stay tuned. At eMotors Direct, our goal is to get you the right motor right away. If you ever had a hard time finding reliable technical support for your motor projects, give our expert team a call. Our family's been in the motor business for over 50 years. It's all we do. So, what are NEMA and IEC standards? These programs were developed to standardize manufacturing, performance, and safety characteristics for electrical components. Basically, these standards allow you a lot more flexibility when replacing a motor because you don't need to replace a motor with the exact replica. You have a lot more options to choose from because manufacturers have a set of standards that they all have agreed to stay within. A good comparison is purchasing a new set of tires. Each vehicle requires a different tire width, speed rating, load index, etc. that you can use to make sure your new tires fit on your vehicle. Motor frame sizes are the same. NEMA is more commonly used in North America, whereas IEC is more common throughout the rest of the world. NEMA motors are defined in imperial units and IEC are defined in metric units. NEMA and IEC are fairly similar, but there are some key differences to look out for. One of the most notable differences between NEMA and IEC is frame size. The frame size refers to how your motor fits into the attached application. The frame size accounts for a few things. The physical dimensions of the motor flange and bolt circles, the diameter and the length of the shaft, and the size of the shaft key and the length of the width and the mounting bolts in the feet. This is important because you'll need the correct frame size to fit your application precisely. Because NEMA is measured in inches and IEC is measured in centimeters, it can be difficult and sometimes impossible to replace an IEC motor with a NEMA motor. But I'll cover that in more detail at the end of this video. Here's a comparison of some common NEMA motor frame sizes and the closest comparable IEC frame size. As you can see, they're not exactly the same. I'll link a full NEMA versus IEC frame chart on the description for your reference. IEC motors are almost always flange or face mounted, whereas it's more common to see NEMA motors foot mounted, pulley driven, and close coupled mounted. Another difference between IEC and NEMA motors is the enclosure rating. An enclosure rating essentially tells you the level of ingression that a motor enclosure provides. So, how likely it is to keep dust and water out of the motor which helps you determine if the motor is suitable for your application. For example, an outdoor motor on a farm may have a higher degree of ingress protection than a motor powering a fan in a clean office building. IEC's IP ratings are well known, but NEMA motors don't require IP ratings on their nameplates. You'll usually see IP ratings expressed in two numbers, and the most common are IP55, IP56, IP65, and IP66. NEMA motors will typically fall into a few enclosure categories, the most common being TEFC, TENV, ODP, and XP. Check out my enclosure video for a full overview of NEMA enclosure types. There are some other differences between NEMA and IEC, including the service factor, rated load current, the rated voltage, and the torque profiles. I've linked to a blog article in the description that covers these other differences in more detail. I get this question all the time. Can I replace my IEC motor with a NEMA motor? A good example is food manufacturing equipment. Manufacturers in Canada order these machines that are manufactured in Europe. When a motor on the machine goes down, it can be a real hassle to replace because most of our replacement motors in Canada are NEMA standard. So what are we to do? The good news is IEC motors are available in Canada. They can just be a little more difficult to find as they are a lot less common than a NEMA motor. In a lot of cases, you should be able to find your IEC motor. But if you can't find an IEC motor, can you stick a NEMA motor into your machine? It depends. It won't be an exact fit, 
but you can get really close. It depends on your application and how your motor is mounted. You may need to modify the machine or the motor to fit, but it won't be an exact perfect fit. We typically see this done in explosion proof and washdown applications, as it's harder to find the IEC washdown in explosion proof motors in North America. Our team of technical experts answers questions like this all the time. If you're stumped on replacing your IEC motor, give our team at eMotors Direct a call. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.